Jensen, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. AI, from a notion, has become an all-pervasive technology, permeating every aspect of our lives. At a macro scale, how do you think we can leverage and impact these technologies for empowerment? At the core, AI is about automation. For the very first time, a computer could learn from its surroundings and automate a task that we teach it to do. And so the ability for software, for computers to automate an unimaginable number of tasks is what has everybody so excited. Now when you can automate using a computer, you can also automate the discovery of very, very large problem spaces. That large problem space could be related to biology and so that we could discover better life-saving drugs faster. That large problem space can be related to the multi-physics of Earth so that we could do a better job understanding and predicting the future of climate change so that we could uh, be better prepared for adaptation or be better inspired for mitigation. And so all of these different types of problems are so large in scope and scale and complexity, no normal software written by human could, could solve it. And for the very first time, we have AI to go help us. NVIDIA's adoption of AI has been alacritous. Its consistent perseverance and focus has made it over the last 30 years a global leader. And you are its de facto impactful leader. Your thoughts on companies' rise and the innovation process that goes through? We observed early on, this is about a decade and a half ago, that AI at its core is a new way of doing software. And this new way of doing software is profoundly different than the way software was written in the past. Well, if software is written differently, then the computer that writes the software must be designed differently. And the type of applications that could be created from this new way of doing software must be profoundly different. So we observed this fundamental fact a decade and a half ago, and we activated our company to reinvent the entire computing stack from the processors to the systems to the way computers are interconnected and networked together to the software that runs on top of it. Every aspect of computing has now been transformed. And so we were fortunate to have understood from first principles the impact of AI, both in the way that it's created as well as the way that it's going to be applied. And, and uh, it's led us to uh, a pretty exciting time. My last two questions. One is, as a leader, you have to keep empowering other leaders in the organization for the rapid growth. And people who are now part of NVIDIA are so ecstatic not only because it has a trillion dollar valuation, but for the changes bringing to the world. How do you train people to become good leaders and work focused on what the customer wants? Um, we focus our company on solving very, very hard problems. And that focus has been there since 30 years ago. And I have many leaders in a company that have been with the company 30 years, 25 years, 20 years. Um, and uh, we were excited every single day. And, and I, I think that today, today of course, um, uh, AI has a profound impact on society and has a profound impact on the industry. And so the excitement, of course, is uh, incredible today. But we were, we were always inspired uh, by the work that we were doing and uh, somewhat desperate to find the next breakthrough uh, at all. The, 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 the separation between uh, uh, aspiration and desperation in our company is always pretty close. The other aspect of entrepreneurship is startups because they are agile, they bring innovation. When companies grow as big as you, not necessarily your case in this example, but in general, when big companies, they don't maneuver as fast. So we try to work with startups to you know, focus on agility and innovation. How do we empower our younger entrepreneurs and startups to have financial viability and also do human good and build technologies focus on that? That's a really good question. And, and um, you know, the way that we do it is we, we dedicate ourselves to work on problems that no one else has solved. 
oftentimes it's, it's the easy path to, to find a market that is uh, burgeoning or quite successful and dedicating yourself to go take market share. Um, that is, that's a fine way to advance the industry. It makes all of the competitors um, more acute, more refined. Uh, uh, however, uh, too much of that kind of focus results in lack of innovation. And so you, you have to have companies of all different types. There are companies who are fighting for share. Uh, there are companies who are discovering something new. We, we happen to be a company that's always constantly discovering something new. The way we, we, um, uh, we dedicate ourselves to agility uh, is, is uh, uh, remember that agility is a state of mind. Agility is not something that, that you lose once you get older. You know, I'm 60 years old now, uh, and I'm, I'm constantly still learning, on, learning new things. So I, in a lot of ways, I'm still as agile today as I ever was. And, and uh, we want the company to, we want all of our companies to do the same thing. Agility is really just a state of mind. You can structure the company so that it can remain agile. Uh, on the other hand, uh, be able to deliver uh, more and more refined and uh, higher quality products uh, that, that uh, the industry relies on. So I think the ability to have, have predictability on the one hand, agility on the other hand, is something that is not a false, it's not a, it's a false choice to have to pick one or the other. We've managed to maintain the two. When hundreds of thousands of people look up to you as a role model, and you talked about having an agile mind, age is just a number, where do you draw inspiration every day to lead this huge company and then also as a global leader now? I have the benefit of being surrounded by amazing people. Uh, if you look at NVIDIA's management team, they're admired all throughout the industry for their contributions to the industry. And um, uh, I'm just r really fortunate to be surrounded by them. Uh, you have to have the humility to want to learn from them. Uh, you want to have the curiosity to want to learn these new things. And, um, uh, and, and hopefully, uh, uh, I inspire them to uh, want to be part of this great team. Uh, so that we can undertake great challenges together as a team. And so, so I think that the combination of being surrounded by amazing people and the curiosity and humility is, is, um, uh, is really important. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I thank you so much for this opportunity. And you're doing an awesome job inspiring hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep up the great work with the IITs. We uh, really count on the amazing, the amazing graduates of the IITs. Uh, I'm surrounded by... I think it's got to be close to a couple of thousand IIT employees at NVIDIA. And so, yeah, yeah, amazing, uh, an amazing system. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you very much.